What's up guys? Last day of home time. Don't remember the last video. That's the downside of these one takes, you know, going to this. I don't remember exactly what happened. Oh yeah, I did the thing when I first came home. So, ending my home time with a walk with the dog. When I go home, I got a boatload of uh, laundry I gotta fold and get ready for the road. This time is gonna be a little bit different. I'm only gonna be out for two weeks, which will be the shortest trip I've been out since I started with this company in September before I went to uh, Trucker Josh's wedding. I was only out for two, two or two and a half weeks, something like that. But in two weeks, I will take my home time in Lebanon, Tennessee. We rent space from uh, another trucking company there. Then I'm gonna fly home and basically just drive to uh, Jade and John's super duper top secret location for a week of spring break greatness. And then drive up to Tennessee, change my address, change my CDL over, and adult for the first time in my life. Except I won't be paying any rent because my aunt won't let me. But, but that's okay. I can't really object to that. It gives me a chance to uh, build up my savings account at a little bit quicker of a rate. And I'll get my pickup truck paid off, which will be paid off in like two or three months anyway. That will really help. Um, I'm also, it's not really a secret. I don't think it is. Some people would say it's a secret, but I mean, whatever. I'm applying for new jobs, and it's not so much that my current job is horrible. It's that when I first got my CDL, almost about two and a half years ago, people asked me how long I was going to do it for, and I said three years. So I'm looking as to where do I want to go, what do I want to do. I mean, really, all I have is a CDL to speak of. I don't have a real college education. Uh, I ended up dropping out of college because I got offered my first real job like a week after I graduated high school and I decided making money was way more fun. And it absolutely is. I do not do well in a classroom setting at all. Uh, it's just not how I learn. I'm very hands-on. But um, anyway, um, I'll start with today and then work my way backwards for this little update. Today I went to the NASCAR race, Auto Club, not at the Auto Club Speedway in Fontana. It's not the Auto Club 400. It was some other name but uh kevin harvick he's won the last three weeks i know a lot of you guys follow nascar uh he uh got a, he uh I believe he lost a tire after contact with kyle larson uh long story short martin Trex jr uh won that's my dad's driver um so i put together a plan a year ago when i was at this race before i was making any sort of videos I bought a scanner because I go to enough races that it makes sense to just buy a scanner instead of rent every time. Uh, this time with my dad, I bought the uh, headphones where he and I can we'd be sharing a scanner, but then we could also talk directly to each other. The headset has a little push to talk intercom feature, which is really cool. Uh, very expensive, but I figure I'm young enough. I'm, I could probably do the math, but I don't really care to. I figure just go to a couple races every season for life, and those things will pay for themselves. That, that's kind of the goal. So, might be going to the truck race at Gateway Motorsport Park in St. Louis later this year. And then with the move to Tennessee, that puts me within striking distance of Kentucky, Charlotte, Bristol, Talladega, and I have friends in Virginia. I don't know how far they are from uh, Richmond and Martinsville, but those might be doable as well. I don't know. But, um, looking forward to it. I, uh, there's a YouTuber who I've started following really within the last, like, three or four weeks. Uh, his name's Ron. He's the hauler driver for the number 32 car. And, uh, I tried to meet up with him today at the track. Didn't really work out. His PR guy, Brandon, was super awesome. We exchanged a couple emails, had a phone call, and our paths just crisscrossed several times. And, uh, never quite worked out. We were within... 100 feet of each other on probably two or three different occasions and it, it just didn't work out. Uh, but it was cool though, one of his crew members uh, took me through the hauler, just a quick little walk through. Nothing extensive at all whatsoever, but that was really cool. That was my first time inside a NASCAR hauler, which was super cool. Super, it was completely on accident, unplanned, just one of those things that uh, worked out how. Uh, it just worked out great, you know, right place, right time, talk to the right person awesome so uh, I can't really complain and then in my hunt for Ron accidentally wound up in the garage area 
twos. I gotta be right next to the cars as they were going through inspection and whatnot. And that was way better than I could have imagined. That was a very fun experience. So, okay, yeah, leave it at that. Um, da 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 da. What else? Okay, when I went home, I picked up a load. It had come from Wisconsin to Denver. I picked it up in Denver and brought it to Southern California. It had two stops on it, and both stops were supposed to deliver uh, like the day before I got home. And as soon as I picked the load up, it's like, yeah, nope, this ain't gonna happen. I uh, let my company know, and they scheduled the first appointment for basically as soon as possible. And the second appointment, they pushed out till the fall till Friday. And I went home on Wednesday. So I was like, I'm not coming back in the middle of my home time to deliver a load. And I'd also told them, I'm coming back out tomorrow, Wednesday, the 19th. Uh, so I make my first delivery. It was to a active uh, construction site. I worked in construction before I got into trucking. I know how things go. You have your schedule. It's just, it's just like trucking. You got your schedule, but things never go according to that schedule. And... So basically played a long game of phone tag, called, made a couple of phone calls. Finally, the people who uh, were receiving the material, they were not on the job site, but they, so they had me take it down to their office 20 miles up the road, and I delivered it to their office. So they, it would be off my trailer, and they'll store it, and they'll take it to the job site themselves uh, when they need it. Then they changed the appointment for the second delivery to this coming Wednesday. It delivers in downtown Los Angeles, and they're calling for rain. No, L, California drivers become horrible drivers when it rains. And downtown LA sucks even on a good day with no people or cars on the road. So needless to say, I really do not want to make that delivery. Uh, but also, I'm planning on leaving Monday. So I, you know, go to the yard. When I went on home time, I dropped the trailer, sent in my information to split it, you know, drop it. And all my dispatcher did was respond by saying, this load is going to Los Angeles. And the PG version of it, I thought something different, but the PG version is like, well, yeah, on Wednesday, two days after I come back from home time. Yeah, that's the advantage of working for a mega carrier and then a freight market like LA, but there's always freight going in, always freight going out, tons of drivers going in and out. In and out. Dropping it should not be an issue. So I've spent, on this home time, I've spent about three and a half hours on hold in several different phone calls with my company to ask them what's going on. So, haven't heard from them, but this is just kind of how I do things. This is where my not-so-nice side comes out. I'll go back to my truck tonight as planned, and I will message them that I'm in my truck, I'm ready for a load. Can you take this load off of me and give me a load tomorrow so I can go get some miles and make some money? If they say, basically if they say anything but yes, anything but take that load off of me, I guess they could reschedule it too. Too, if they reschedule it, that would it would suck because I would still go to LA. But if uh, in a perfect world they will take it off of me, someone else will deliver it on Wednesday, and I'll get a different load going somewhere else. Uh, but basically, if they say anything besides that, if they're gonna make me wait till Wednesday to deliver that load because I'm at like almost three years with like a perfect record. I'll tell them, cool, you're gonna make me sit for a couple days. That's a couple days of looking for a new place to work. And that's my attitude. And I mean, it's, you know, I've been around the block, you know, enough. I know I can get a new job tomorrow and it would not be a lot. It would probably be a better situation than what I'm currently in. Uh, I can't, that's just the truth of it. Having someone with a CDL in today's market and with a clean record, and with the experience that I have, I'm a very valuable commodity, and I know that, and I know my worth. And if they're not holding up to their end of the deal, if they're not treating me how I deserve to be treated, cool, see ya. Um, and I'm pretty certain I would do that. Do that. I mean, it's talk now, but when coming, come time to do it. For all I know, they're gonna make me deliver this out on Wednesday, which for me would, really, would mean likely I would be emptying out my truck tomorrow. Potentially. Although I don't think they'll do that. I think when they take a step back and look and realize, oh, he's ready for a load now. This load doesn't deliver for two more days. Yeah, we'll give him a new load. I'm pretty sure that's what's going to happen. But when I uh, was at Interstate, I was taking home about $400 a week more than I'm taking home now. 
I took a significant pay cut to come to where I current, currently am. And the reality is it's not quite worth it. Um, I get to see the entire country from the interstate, which is way better than being on the I-5 prison held corridor. Like, the I-5 just sucks. It's not fun. But I was bringing home way more money. And I mean, I don't want to make it sound like it's all about money, but you kind of need money to live. In case you guys didn't know that. So, money's kind of important. Uh, so we'll see. Um, in a perfect world, I would end up at Walmart, I think, at least for right now. Uh, their, their thing is, you work for five days, you're off for two. Not necessarily weekends. It's all drop and hook. Don't have to fight for empty trailers. Um, a very solid program they run over there. They take safety very seriously, and I meet all their qualifications, I think. They did ask if I have any preventable accidents in the last three years. Uh, the answer for that is yes. I had a preventable accident when I was at uh, Schneider when I first started. I literally moved a construction, a temporary construction fence like six inches. And no one could tell me how it could have been prevented either. Including another driver who has about a year more of experience than I do at the time. He was right behind me. He saw it. He didn't know what I could have done differently. So, I mean, but because I tattled on myself and kept my dignity... I have a preventable on my record. Had I not said anything, I would have been good. So then I had an incident at Interstate. They ruled it sabotage. At least that's what they told me. I should probably look into that though on my driving record and see what they put and make sure that's truly the case. Make sure it's really just not on there. But uh, other than that, in the, for the last year I've been, the last 13 months I've been spick and span, no issues at all whatsoever. So don't know but it's uh yeah it's definitely worth applying but then also with walmart i would increase my salary about i would just about double what i'm currently making uh yeah different salaries have been different all over the place for walmart so but on the low end i would double what i'm making right now so on the high end i would more than double what i'm currently making i'd work a lot less the stress level would be a lot less and the money would be a lot more. Um, I would not be able to object to that. So, anyway guys, this has been a long video, 12 and a half minutes. Uh, if I remember, if I think of it, I'll update you guys tomorrow. I'm thinking I'll do one takes, but more often. Before I, the last couple weeks, it's been like one, one take every, I don't even know, eight days or so. Try to do it every couple of days, keep you guys updated, keep you guys, you know, in the loop more often in real time, so. Anyway, guys, I will talk to you guys uh, later.